and these animals will create so many landmarks of success in this world don't be don't be cheated by that we don't follow that we will follow what the shastra says okay so prabhupa therefore is you know in this shloka saying that actually at the end the whole world is cheated and they are suffering whole world is cheated and people are suffering because of that Prabhu used to say again and again that actually the whole world is based on a wrong foundation that we are the body, we are not the body. And the only way people can be saved is they are brought to real knowledge that we are not body, we are spirit soul. And to bring people to this uh, that platform, they are not body, or spirit soul. The whole world has to cooperate. The work has to happen. That is how the uh, that is the uh, you know Prabhu used to say save your countrymen. Why? They are in illusion. They are thinking they are the body. and all tamasha starts from that so moment you say we are not body or spirit so what you are doing the very foundation of maya you are breaking that's all over whole maya will f- all the structures of your big big plan will fall on the ground just like building you go just pull the foundation how the whole building will fall it will be only a uh, heap of dust after some time because it is standing on a foundation no? anything needs a foundation so the foundation of material existence is that i am the body just break that over therefore scientists are so resistant when you break try to break it because they want to end they they are making business of illusion so how they will be their whole salary is coming because of that only no they are not contributing anything to spiritual knowledge what are they doing they giving you a tv or a laptop in which you can see uh, 4k 4000 pixels or something in uh, space take okay. what you will see a girl what you are doing at basically business on illusion business on illusion only that's what you are doing and that's what their work is so if when you try to shake the foundation they feel very challenged actually they feel very challenged because we are challenging now their uta only i have seen many times and uh, uh, unconsciously they get very hurt and they attack you even when you are trying to bring them into platform of knowledge because they know if this swami ji is right i have no food tomorrow so they get sh- no 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 they have tried to find a loophole out yeah and krishna will give them enough loopholes to somehow escape the truth they'll try to avoid the truth by somehow or another no no million years later we will prove to you that actually chemicals can make life some nonsense they'll speak today just believe us million years later i'll prove to you that chemicals can make like somehow they will not be because they are uta you are questioning their food itself when you say that we are not the body or spirit soul they need to close all these things it is a waste of time what is happening in society true or not all societies today ugra karma based on the body in a gentleman way animals are also doing some kind of enjoyment but human society is working 20 hours a day for material enjoyment working so hard for material enjoyment and you know it is not working out just like animals they also do four thing what are the four things animal do eating sleeping waiting defending animals do the same activity but a uh, human being what they want to do they want to decorate the body with the uh, thousand kind of ointment with you know hundred kind of dresses this is so much planning so that i can enjoy a little better eating sleeping mating defending the food i can put this spice i can put this i can heat it like this i can heat it like that or uh, only at the end is what this four things only so when we question So why you working so hard for material enjoyment your real energy should be put for spiritual life the root is threatened therefore unconsciously subconsciously they feel they attack you that's why they are not ready to accept even though their all philosophies their theories their imagination their hallucinations have failed to explain who am i it has failed but what do they do still they will not accept they are adamant they will not accept because they will not accept for millions of years they will never accept this fact we are not the body or spirit so they will never accept why their food is question at that moment and they are doing something which is wrong if somebody the intelligent should live a pure life simple living high thinking but they are not doing that they are living a life of an animal in the name of intellectual in the society all this big big scientists in the society they living a life of total sense gratification and posing as great intellectual thinkers in the society so they we are questioning their you know a person is intelligent he should be studying the vedas he should be studying the uh, subject matter of the soul and god in the vedic time that's what they were they were supposed to do 
but today they are living a very degraded life so you are questioning everything when you say the god is there soul is there this beauty is an illusion they will not so we can go to people who are reasonable uh, who have some uh, sanity to understand that my conscience today agitated by false uh, enjoyments of this world i want a pure consciousness and in this pure consciousness i want to see the real beauty of the lord and then engage in loving devotion service and i want the bliss and ecstasy of pure loving devotion service to krishna for that person we can talk no there was an example no somebody told prabhupad prabhupad you are preaching to that man but he said he is very happy number 1 and number 2 is not scared of death prabhupad said don't talk to him don't talk to him if somebody says these two things don't talk he is a mad man don't waste your time with him so as a movement we don't waste time with people who think they are happy and who think they are not scared of death we don't waste our time we look for people who are sane not insane correct no our energy we you know how much energy you'll put we cannot take buckets and water and pump put put over stone it will not absorb one drop because they're insane you understand how many times we can tell but a person who is sane immediately this thing he loves oh yeah correct then immediately he will come immediately he will come and will be behind you can he help me i want to come out of this illusion if i introspect myself i am totally cheated by this what should i do he will be praying to the deities my lord please pull pull me out of this illusion i am ensnared a false beauty let me be ensnared by your real beauty my lord please take me out you cannot have both at the same time you cannot have both at the same time you cannot have illusion and truth at the same time you cannot put legs in two boats at the same time you will fall in the middle <laughs> so we have to decide do i want to be ensnared continue to be ensnared by the false beauty of this world or do i want to be ensnared by the real beauty we have to decide we have to make a decision it's our decision because krishna will not force in the god will come and force you know sir he will try he will be very and uh, he is given already what he has come and given all the knowledge bhagavad gita he has told so many ways to arjuna matra spashast kauntaya sitoshna sukadukadaha it is just interaction of senses with the sense object arjuna that's all it is why you are so disturbed yai sansparsha jab hoga dukha yo na evate all this what you considered beautiful ugly in this world is only going to give you dukha ha huh? all the enjoyment of so called beauty in this world will only give you dukha adi antavanta kaunteya this so called pleasures have a beginning and we have enough experience of that you want to eat gulab jamun another beauty of the sense it has a anta very soon so we have to make a decision whether i want to stop it or not when you want to make a decision you cannot come out just by wishful thinking now start sadhana we sincerely do sadhana with a result oriented everything is result oriented we should see that i am able to pull my heart outside of this beauty not get make a program and huge grand plan of sense gratification that's what all the karmis are doing in this world grand secretly the mind is constantly making a grand plan of enjoyment every person is only doing that and nothing else they do somewhere the mind has to be enchanted if it is not enchanted beauty of krishna it is enchanted beauty of this world and grand plan is being made how would i go to enjoy this world sir this plans will not last even government plans will not last prabhupada used to say krishna doesn't send rain all your plans will dry up yeah. with your food everything will dry up but we are so foolish in a temporary world we are doing all this thing so a sage like dadichi is imagine what he is doing he has a body he has not only body he has lot of powers also he is a siddha purusha you know he can well, you cannot even dream how you cannot he can enjoy you cannot even dream but at the same time he knows his body is temporary and the enjoyments are temporary and he is fixed on spiritual truth so when the devatas come to him can he give you a body he just jokes for some time then he said okay take just can you imagine his level of detachment from this world we are so attached and and he is proving how much he is detached that's vedic culture total detachment from the body total detachment of so called relatives of the body 
you do think he is asking his relative is it fine ali eh, is totally detached because it's an illusion it's an illusion in the vedic culture therefore at a particular point in life person you should you used to cut off this illusion therefore there was one prasa sanyas cut off this it be, it is an illusion so there is no need to be so ensnared attached uh, the body leads to other uh, gratifications uh, we have the body then we get deha patra kala taradeshu atma sanyushu asasu api person cannot see actually the none of them going to protect me this body is not going to protect me and the relatives and the band of relatives created around the body they cannot protect me nothing can protect me what can protect me is krishna's lotus sweat and for that to achieve that krishna's lotus sweat i should be serious that is called sadhana sadhana is nothing but my seriousness to achieve those lotus sweat but at least some time in a day i keep wherein i don't allow my mind to go to anything except the krishna's lotus sweat that is sadhana rest of the day i am engaged something i have to do for maintenance of the body but my what is my primary what is secondary should be very clear we should never sacrifice primary for secondary just like now dadichi is sacrificing his body because he knows that's the wish of the lord when lord has told take his bones he know lord's wish that i leave my body he is not he is ready to sacrifice his body secondary for primary spiritual true but you do reverse we sacrifice our spiritual development we sacrifice our spiritual growth our spiritual uh, enhancement for secondary that suicide therefore chetan mahapru say ha hant hant vishvaksha naam sadhu better drink poison if you are sacrificing primary for secondary ha niskanchanasya bhagavad vachan mukosya paramparam jigimashor bhava sagarasya sandarshanam vishayatam yatha yoshitam cha ha hant hant vishvaksha naam sadhu he says Uh, oh, you are planning to go back to the Krishna's lotus feet, Niskanchanasya. You have given up enjoyment in this world, and you are taken to Bhagavad Bhajan, and you want to cross the ocean of birth and death and reach the Lord's lotus feet. But still, you are looking at the beautiful features of opposite sex. So hand is like this, arm is like this, neck is like this. You know, your mind is still there. Better drink poison. That'll be better. <laughs> Just imagine. That is the message of. Lord Chaitanya, so advanced, and yeah, look the lowest tamasic, rasic, sattvic knowledge of Brahman, knowledge of Paramatma. Still above that is the knowledge of Lord Chaitanya has given. That if you want to achieve, in fact, Lord Chaitanya says one place, it is so unfortunate uh, when a devotee's heart become and ch- takes to sense gratification, because from that day on, the devotee cannot feel peace and happiness in devotion service. devotee means simple why is simple because he only wants krishna therefore he is so simple but moment sense gratification starts in the heart immediately the person become duplicitous because one side is because sense gratification nobody will profess you will not find one man in this world he will say i am existing because i want to do something great for the society correct any person is there who will not say this he will say this actually his plan is not that. just like pr- uh, the of famous politicians the biggest crooks what they say before election i will come and i want to serve and make all of you very kings like that they will say but you know because he has a vested interest he is duplicitous all of us are in the same category so moment sense gratification starts in the heart of a devotee he loses his simplicity he become duplicitous because anybody will say that my aim in life is to enjoy senses nobody will say the doctors they take such a big oath the engineers when they get degree big oath i will serve society in this this nothing nothing the only ambition in life is to be ensnared by the false beauty of the world and spin around that that's all keep making grand plans of enjoying the false beauty of this world But therefore people are all duplicitous nobody will admit it my only plan in life is i give oath now as a engineer to enjoy the false beauty of this world he'll never say that he'll never say that always profess something cheating therefore the more we become free from desire for sense gratification more we become a gentleman and honest and simple otherwise we are always a cheat we are cheating ourselves we are cheating krishna definitely we are cheating krishna we are his servant we should serve him we have made a grand our own private plan you are cheating krishna 
the moment we make a plan of sense gratification, you are cheating Krishna. Because you are servant of Krishna. You are not supposed to do all these things. You are cheating your Guru, if you have a Guru. You are cheating Vaishnavas, you are cheating Acharyas, you are cheating Shastra and at the end you are cheating yourself. You are cheating society also. So we have to decide what we want to do. Uh, Jeeva Krishna Dasa, uh, the Jeeva, the soul is the servant of Krishna. He should only be doing that, service to Krishna. Why is he getting into so much mess? Uh, but I want, what can be done therefore? Therefore Prabhupada is saying, please, why don't you consider this? The whole world is lost, suffering. Yehi samsparishaja bhoga dukha yonava evate adi antavanta kaunteya nate shuramate budaha. An intelligent person should not delight in displeasures or senses of the sense of sex. He should give it up. But people are not giving up. They are suffering, suffering. And they are not giving up. So devotee, what he does? Of the compassion, he starts to preach. Therefore, Prabhupada is saying here, therefore, more and more people should come forward and understand this movement is a boon for the human society. Perhaps we are the only people who are directly telling people, stop up the material enjoyment. But people are not interested. So we continue, still it's a thankless job, so we continue in the society. The Prabhupada said, yes, then everybody has to cooperate, otherwise how anything can happen? Nothing can big can happen unless it is well organized and there is an attempt to pass on the message to the society. Shri Prabhupada ki, Shri Bhagavatam ki.